Are you tired of this happening while taming a Gigantopithecus? My name's Stickwarsa, and today I'll show you how to tame a Gigantopithecus, and if you stick around, I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tamed Gigantopithecus. Just note before I start, the minimum level for a Gigantopithecus is level 30, and it will not accept food from you before then. Now then, let's prepare. The foods you're going to need in order from most effective to least effective. Regular kibble, mijo berries, all other berries. ARK's official wiki lists vegetables as a preferred food after kibble, but this doesn't seem to be the case as they will not accept it. So, taking that into account, I would recommend using regular kibble. It wouldn't hurt to have some mijo berries just in case. At a default taming rate, a level 50 can take between 35 minutes and 2 hours, a level 100 can take between 1 and 3 hours, a level 150 between 1 and 4 hours. These times are the difference between kibble and mijo berries. Other types of berries have the same time as mijo berries, but require 30% more berries. You'll also want a more abundant food source for the Gigantopithecus to consume once it's tamed. The recipe for regular kibble is one medium egg, two long grass, two savor root, one cooked meat jerky, five fiber, and one water. Gigantopithecus are a non-violent tame. This means you cannot tame them by knocking them out. Gigantopithecus are also aggressive. If they see you, they will attack you. If they bump into you, they will attack you. If you look funny, they will attack you. If they start attacking you, you need to reset their aggression towards you. This is easy enough to achieve. Every player nearby needs to get the Gigantopithecus out of render distance at the same time, and it will reset the aggression. We can use this to our advantage to capture a Gigantopithecus. The main thing you'll need is a flying mount of some sort. Anything will do, like this Pteranodon. Any mount faster than the Gigantopithecus will technically work, but flyers work best. Find the Gigantopithecus you want to tame and build a one by one wooden box with a ramp up one side and a door out the other. Gigantopithecus can break wood, so if you want to make sure they cannot break three, make it from stone. Also, make sure your flyer is nearby. Touch the Gigantopithecus and run for your box. Once the Gigantopithecus is trapped in your box, get on your flyer and fly straight up until the Gigantopithecus is out of render distance. Now you can return and its aggression should be reset. If it's still attacking your box, try flying further away or logging out and back in. Remember that every player nearby has to do this at the same time. Now put your food of choice in the last slot of your hotbar and carefully approach the Gigantopithecus either from the doorway or the top of the ramp. Make sure not to touch the ape. If you do, it will affect your taming percentage, and you'll need to reset the aggression again. Interact with the Gigantopithecus every time you're prompted, until it's tamed. If this video was helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. Gigantopithecus can be ridden without the use of a saddle. They can also pick up a selection of shoulder-mountable creatures using the crouch button. If they're already carrying a creature, it can be dropped by using crouch again or thrown by using the control for lay prone. The creatures it can pick up are Archaeopteryx, Dodo, Ichthyornis, Otter, Bulb Dog, Dung Beetle, Jerboa, Pegomastix, Compi, Featherlight, Mesopithecus, Shinehorn, Dimorphodon, 
Glow Tail, Microraptor, and Vulture. Gigantopithecus can also throw the mounted player by using their secondary attack. Their primary attack is their regular attack. It has the addition of dealing extra damage to the health of armor. They're effective at gathering fiber and berries, and they can gather thatch and wood at about the same rate as a stone pick and stone hatchet respectively. Also, if they're put on wander, they will autonomously gather fiber. They can also jump and tightrope on zip lines on the Aberration map. They can wear helmets of any grade, and most of the helmet skins work. There's an aberrant variant of the Gigantopithecus on the Aberration map. There's also an alpha variant known as the Yeti. It is larger, more aggressive, and untamable. It can be found in the snow and ice caves on the island, the center, or the extinction maps. That's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.